But there is another safety, though. Saw his name kind of floating around recently. I was like, ooh, all right. He talk a lot, but I like him, though. Who? CJ. From where? Uh, Detroit. Oh, Garner Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Being available. Yeah, I was like, oh, hold on now. I was like, hey, it kind of perked me up a little bit because, yeah. That is one of that, the that's, unsung that's my speed, man. signings. Yeah. We might need to make it. That was one of my speed right I, there. I don't know if it has anything to do with cutting Casey and bringing hey. someone else in, but I do think we should address the position. Hey, that's, I'll tell you, that's how I felt. Like, I I would like to just bring back Terrell Edmonds, but if we're bringing in a Gardner Johnson, that doesn't hurt either. Listen, listen. I, as much as I love Edmonds, you know, that's my dude. CJ is, you know think more productive and at the same time man cj has also been in some bigger moments man he's been in some big time playoff games he's played in back to back well let's see nfc championships i don't think he signed with the lions for much mm. yeah it was one year yeah. six and a half uh, you know going into 2023 so if we're if we're you know being real about it a dude like cj i kind of like more in terms of addressing the safety position versus going draft just because, number one, when we're talking defense, man, it's, like I said, it's a lot harder at times for young secondary people to come in here and play at this level just because you can't touch the guys. And the way that they are hypersensitive to flag you for any type of certain contact, I typically like more proven dudes that have already learned how to play at this level. CJ is a physical dude. He's fast as heck. He's confident as heck. He's going to bark at you. But at the same time, he backs it up. And that's the thing I do. Like, he's not a world beater, but he is a guy that I think elevates your secondary. He is a guy that makes the guys around him play better, play at a higher level. And when you just talk about tough, smart, heady football players, he's one of those dudes. And that's why you've seen him play at multiple spots now and still thrive. When you see a dude that can play multiple defenses, multiple teams, and it's like, yo, he's still making plays. It lets you know that, yo, that's just a dude right there. It doesn't matter about this coaching. It doesn't matter about the scheme. He just knows how to play. And that's one of the dudes that you could pair with a Minka Fitzpatrick, man. That's exactly what we need. The way you yeah, describe him is exactly bro. what we need yeah. with Minka. Yeah, because he, he can give you a lot of that versatility, man. Playing the box, playing the post. He's going to hit you. He's going to run. Except, like man, it, he going to bark, too. He He's definitely the guy going to talk, though. Like, But it comes with him. Does he have a podcast? I don't think he has a podcast, but no, he's the type of dude that's think. All right, green flag. Yeah, right think, think, think OG Vince Williams. When Vince, I paint that boy on site. Like, he going to let you know, like, what time he's on, but he bags it up. Remember, Baker Mayfield coming into town. Man, he was, psh, they'd be good if they had a quarterback. Man, the receivers is nice if they had a legit quarterback, and then he turned around and get a pick. You're like, all right, I don't know how you keep doing this, but you be doing it. So it's like it works. But that's his energy, man. But he backs it up. But you've seen him play with well, Detroit. We've seen him in Philly. We've seen him in, I want to say, New Orleans as well. And he's been a playmaker at all them spots, man. Yeah. And like I said, not too Where'd crazy price link. Man, shoot, bro. I just seen some nice. You just put two and two together. I seen some nice. I'm like, hold on, bro. I ain't tripping on that one now because we do need a safe thing. And it could be available. And you know what? That number is not out of this world. And that does par with that. My only Maybe hesit- going to be less than that even, too. My only, hesit- a little older. my only hesitancy was, do we want to keep putting money on defense? That was my only thing. Because I was like, we've already spent a lot on defense. Do we want to add another paid player or defense? Or should we? Spend some more the office. That was my only thing. Uh, yeah, because I like him a lot. But nah, I'm like, I'm f- I'd yeah. be fine with it because we just got all these young players on offense, though. Yeah, but people be tripping. They're like, yo, why we got to keep spending money on the defense? The defense, the defense. They want to spend it on offense somewhere. I'm it like, just depends on what we do uh, with yeah. the rest of free agency. If we do heavy free agency mm-hmm. or heavy defense and free agency, then just draft everything on offense. Yeah. If we do a little mix, you know, say we get Gardner Johnson. Do we sign a linebacker? Do we sign a quarterback? Then again, yeah. you could just you go offensive line heavy, I think, in the first yeah. two rounds of the draft. But if we just do Garner Johnson, maybe we sign a lineman, then then you could maybe draft yeah. defense. I think there's just different combinations. You do. Do I get I get that's what the you're thing. saying. Like, yeah, you keep investing but who else defense. are we gonna pay on offense like that? Outside of maybe a Tyler Boyd, like a like a slot right. receiver. O line is the whole the, conversation. O line would be right the now. other one. Yeah. That's the whole conversation. It's like, yo. Spend money on defense. You got to spend money on defense. Or it's like, spend, it's not spend, it's like, yo, we keep spending money on defense. When we're going to spend money on offense? Because it's like, you got TJ Page, you got Larry Ogan, Joey Page, High Smith is paid. We brought in Pat P. You drafted PZ Jr. in the first or in the 32nd overall. There you go. You brought in Atlanta Roberts. You brought in Cole Holcomb. 
technically wrote in Quan Alexander as well. Yeah. Casey isn't like breaking the bank. So it's like, I don't count that all the way. But it's like. Right. I think it depends too on if you're going to yeah. cut a Casey, cut a Neil, right. cut Ogan Joby, Cause it's like, restructure Cam, see where all this so you still got cap Cam. space gets open Yeah, up. you still got Cam on a big contract too. You took Cam Ben in the second round. It's like, you did Herbig also third. He's like, dude, everything is on defense right now. What are we putting in on offense? You brought in Kenny Pickett. You got Najee, who's the first rounder from going on four years now. Pickens, DJ is going into the last year of his deal. Free agent running back in Jalen Warren. So that's the part where I was like, I, I get it. I see some of it. I get it. And I think on defense, we need inside linebacker yeah. more than safety. Right. I don't so know if, you if we spin, address that in free agency yeah. or if that's a draft thing. But I would get, actually I would go inside linebacker and cornerback before safety. Yeah. So Edmonds could be the perfect fit. He could because he is cheap. Yeah. He would be a lot cheaper. We could probably just cut yeah. Casey and Neal and replace it with Edmonds, and it'd be a, a scratch. It'd be a wash. Yeah. For the money. That's the play. Yeah. Who knows if Edmonds has hard feelings towards us or not? But. I don't think so. No. Nah. That's what I would do yeah. if I'm the Steelers. Pair up Edmonds with Minka again. Figure out corner, whether it's free agency or draft. Mm -hmm. Definitely get a new linebacker in here. I think then your defense is fine. Yeah. I think we could live with this defensive line going into 2024. But then, yeah, you got to upgrade the O-line on yeah. offense. Because that's the thing. It's like offense is like, man, to go spend more money where we're not talking about an Edmonds deal where it's, you know, two mil max. We're talking potentially a five or a six. So, yeah. Dang, bro, we go spend even more money on that side. Like, granted, we got Broderick, but especially too, if you bring <laughs> back Pat P, say you sign Edmonds, you could have a nice little free safety rotation there. Yeah. Because we gotta put Pat P at safety if he does come back, right? I would think so. He admitted as much on his podcast. I, say, like, I, I do want to come so. back, but it's probably not gonna be a corner. Yeah, I would think so. We'll see if he wanted like as long as he wanna tackle, that's the whole name of the game. We've seen what it can be. If you tackle, it works really well. When it doesn't tackle, it doesn't work well. But I like it. It could definitely do the coverage part. We know that. We've seen that. Yeah, it definitely does the coverage move part. Move Edmonds man. up for yeah. certain formations. Yeah. Move Edmonds up, have Pat P. Menka back there, do mm -hmm. all the disguises you've talked about. I think it could be nice. Yeah. It's too common sense. I don't know if we're going to do it, though. 